Hello everybody and welcome. I'm here in the studio. It's Saturday the 8th of February 2014. And um, I've got some lumps of clay here that are weigh, weighing 20 ounces. And what I'm trying to make Actually, I made some the other day, and I did a video, and uh, unfortunately, the battery ran out just, you know, like three quarters away through the video, which was a bit of a pain. So, and I haven't got around to re redoing the same video again. So, but the ones I did on that day, I'm going to show you, because they're actually like leather hard now, and they're ready for me to finish them off. Um, did I tell you what I was going <laughs> to? Did I tell you what I was making though? Did, I don't think I did, did I? A juicer. <laughs> a juicer. Yes, sir. A juicer. So, um, let's just show you what I did the other day. And, um, hello, Shino. Good morning. How are you? All right, we'll look down here. Voila. I made these juicers. And they are actually waiting to have a little handle put on the on the back here now this one you'll see here i <laughs> i forgot to i forgot to close that in so what i should do is just take a a little bit of soft clay and just push it into the hole there you see and make a make a plug out of it so these juices that I made now as you can see they're leather hard um, they've got to be fettled off you can see that they're hollow underneath so that just needs to be finished off you see um, now the this here is a strainer and the strainer I will need to um, make some cutouts in it uh, to allow the juice to flow through the the strainer is of course to collect the pith and the stones from the whatever citrus fruit you are squeezing another thing that we're going to have to do is this at the moment is smooth and that's got to be made rough so I'm going to have to um, make some score marks down here uh, so that the when you take your orange it, it nicely gets all of the pith out and all the juice etc anyway that's that's as far as I got the other day and I did a video of it but then I didn't upload it because it was you know I didn't say keep practicing at the end <laughs> then I get complaints <laughs> So, in fact, I'm in the middle of doing one here, right now, on the wheel. Except this one, I'm going to cut it off and throw it in the, throw it in the drink. <laughs> I'm going to chuck it off, chuck it out, because it's gone wrong. You see, it's actually a tricky little number to make. And, uh, so this one, I've got a... I got to scrap it because it got weak in there, you see. So, yeah. So, we're going to start with 20 ounces of clay. I'm going to see if I can. Um, As I say, he's a little bit of a tricky number um, to be able to... I had them down, actually, the other day when I was making them. I got into a rhythm of making them, or of the three I made, anyway. They were going okay. But, of course, when I come to it today, I, I, I've got to re-go over what I did. And um, 
that very first one I didn't make a very good job of it let's see if I can do better this time all right so 20 ounces of clay fling him down on the wheel head I'll try and talk through as we do it you see right It's surprising, you know, you need more clay than you think because all the little different parts of it, you see. Now some people make these, I've seen people make them, and they just throw like the center cone and a dish and that's it. They don't put the, the strainer in. And you can do them like that without the without the strainer if you want to but you know when I was a kid growing up we always used to have a glass a glass um, juicer and I remember it always had a little strainer thing around at the base of the at the base of the um, uh, hopefully that will get picked up Yeah, it always at the, at the base of the cone had a little strainer around the base. You see, caught all the pith. Okay, so we centered it, and I, I brought it up, pushed it down, and now we've got this sort of fairly flat form, flattish anyway. And what we need to do is we need to think about um, dividing the clay, so some of it goes upwards. And some of it goes outwards. We split it, you see. So I'm just going to do that like that, you see. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to push down all the way to the bottom, okay? Right the way down to the the back. And then I'm going to put my finger in, and I'm going to pull my finger across like that. Therefore, I'm going to widen the hole on the inside, you see, at the base. So, pulling that clay now, I've widened it, you see. So, Now, through here, I've got a form now, you see. We've, as with always, you know, there's a, there's a certain, um, there's a technique for making everything, isn't there? From just a simple GP bowl, or an egg cup, or a pitcher, whatever it is, there's always, there's always a, there's always a, um, there's a route that you take to get from A, A to Z, isn't there? There's a route that you take, and um, you have to learn what, it, what, what the technique is for each shape, really. Okay, so what I'm saying is that through here, at the moment, it's about that thick, you see. So out of that clay there, I've, I've got to form, form the strainer part, you see. So I'm using my fingers here. I don't want to let it get too thin at the base of the cone, which is what I did last time, the one that went wrong. Now I've got a, a little piece of wood here, are we in the picture? We're a little bit far away aren't we, perhaps we could get a little bit closer. About like that. Sometimes when I get a bit close, it goes out of focus, I notice. Okay, so this is just a piece of wood with a, a, a rounded end. So I'm going to use, with my finger on the inside, I'm going to use that there, okay, and I'm going to just push down there a little bit like that, just to give a little bit of depth to the strainer, you see. All right. 
Now the conical bit where we we squeeze the the fruit over. I'm going to bring up now. You see, and I'm going to I'm going to close him in at the top. You want to make him a fairly nice, he's very slightly convex on the outside, okay? The shape, slightly convex. All right, so that's that little bit done. I think so far so good. We've got our strainer down here. Um, right, now I'm just gonna push down a bit there and I'm going to take this clay here that I I pushed to the side, you see, because I was saving that bit of clay uh, to make the, the bowl part, you see. You've got to think of that. You've got to think of where you're going to make the, the parts from. So you've got to put the clay to one side there to keep it there, you see. He's coming along, isn't he? All right, there he is. So, but not quite finished yet. Okay. My leather. Where is my leather? <laughs> Ooh, oh, there he is. <laughs> he, he was there all the time, he was just hiding. Do your leathers hide away? Well, I could write a song about that, couldn't I? Alright, so. A little bit of round wood, you see, like that, rounded on the end. Maybe a piece of dowel that you've rounded off. You can use that, you see, to... You can use it as a... As a sort of... Uh, like a template, you know, to... Okay, I'm going to use my throwing stick. Okay, and I'm going to get in underneath it a bit there. Because we want the, the shape of the juicer the, the, to be slightly bowl shaped, you see. All right. Always, don't forget, always, always a good idea to. Put a, a bevel, you know, underneath your pots at the base. How's he looking? All right, let's let's get the camera down there so so you can see uh, see the shape in a little bit more detail. Just whisk him off the tripod here. Right. Let's just get down so you can see the shape. So, what you need to do, make sure is you've got enough depth here in the bowl, all right? Enough height, in other words, here. So that the juice doesn't flow out. Um, that's important. The strainer up here is gonna be I'm going to scallop out bits of it or cut out bits of it so it acts it acts like a, a strainer and then the top here will be fluted in come some kind of way or roughened up you know so that the um, so that it does its job as it's supposed to all right so uh, one thing I want to do though more to this 
and that is I want to put a I want to put a small pouring lip because you know you want to be able to pour pour out from the the juicer don't you so let's just put my finger holding the clay back with my two my thumb and first finger and then just a very simple pouring lip there so that we can pour out the juice without the pith and the stones hopefully all right there he is now I'm thinking that what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try and put a handle from the edge of the strainer here like a loop handle a loop handle coming across here so you can just like put a one finger handle here to be able to to operate the strainer to pour the to pour the juice out so what we'll do is we'll take a clean bat and take our wire clean your wire before you use it okay clean it like that hold the toggles use your thumbs all right and you can cut off pulling towards you like that or you can cut off pushing away from you it doesn't matter we're going to lift him off with dry dry fingertips just dry on your on your a apron all right and then you're going to put your fingers and you're going to lift and you're going to walk like this you know let your fingers do the walking <laughs> this is not yellow pages this is the pottery let your fingers do the walking okay so you cut it off and then you lift and then you walk with your fingers underneath you see like this and then you lift it off and you put him there and there he is. One juicer awaiting further treatment. Good. Well. Well, well, what do you think? So. I think that's okay and um, in the next video you're going to see me putting a handle and doing some of this other work to the juicer the top bit here the cone and the the strainer so join us join us for that and um, I'll be doing that right away now because those ones that I showed you earlier that I did last time are ready. They're ready for, for that treatment. So please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, recently I said that we had a, a trim tool available and uh, it seems that everybody went there and they all got sold, so they're all gone now. But the good news is I have more on the way of these little trim tools if anybody's interested so I'll tell you what when I've got them and they're ready I'll I'll let you know when I'm doing a video clip and then you can go there if you want them it's quite a nice little trim tool it cuts quite well and it cuts as I explained to you not just on the on the front bit here but it cuts a little bit round the corner as well and another thing that I didn't say that's different about these trim tools, the angle is trimmed on the, on the inside here, not on the outside. In my experience, that actually works better. 
especially if you're trying to cut clay that's a little bit damp or a little bit on the on the humid side you know it's not let's say it's on the wet side of leather hard then if you have the angle on this side not on the back side you find that the tool cuts better it just manages as uh, something it's all to do with angles isn't it it's, it's the angle is, is better so anyway look out for them okay folks that's it for today and um, well maybe it's not that maybe I'm going to continue now and do those uh, those other other finishing off those other juices so that's it there's a juicer you can do these in different styles in different ways this is just my version of a juicer but um, always remember think of two things if you're designing or making anything and that is think first functionality and also think beauty try to combine function with beauty in whatever you make I think that's a good uh, a good rules to follow hey I'll see you around keep practicing <laughs>